Mario is, without a doubt, one of the most iconic and well-known characters in any medium. He's appeared in over 200 games across a dozen platforms and has had at least twice as many jobs. These are the top 10 Mario games of all time. In Mario's second Game Boy Adventure, he inexplicably owns a castle which gets stolen from him by none other than his childhood friend, Wario. So it's pretty safe to say that this ranks among the weirder entries in the Mario series. While the original Super Mario Land was modeled after Super Mario Bros., Six Golden Coins borrows heavily from Super Mario Bros. 3 and Super Mario World, with an overworld map that allows you to tackle each of the game's six zones in any order you choose. Super Mario Bros. 2 was originally released as Doki Doki Panic in Japan, but you probably already knew that. Set inside a dream, this super sequel lets you choose between Mario, Luigi, Princess Toadstool, or Toad, and utilize each character's special skills to toss vegetables, find potions, and lift enemies over your head throughout the game's seven worlds. This adventure also introduced several series mainstays, like Birdo, the Shy Guys, and most importantly, a sense of verticality to each level that will become essential to future games in the series. Not only is Super Mario 3D World one of the very best games on the Wii U, but it stands tall as one of Mario's absolute best adventures. It builds upon the diorama feel of 3D Land by making the stages larger and filling them with interesting puzzles. It's constantly switching up the aesthetic, introducing a supremely entertaining multiplayer and adding a few new power-ups that pretty much need to be in every Mario adventure for the rest of time. Though Galaxy 2 practically perfected the formula of its predecessor, the original Super Mario Galaxy is no intergalactic slouch. Galaxy revitalized this line of the Nintendo series with an inventive gravity-based hook, an out-of-this-world design, and smart mechanics that took advantage of the Wii but never felt cumbersome. Galaxy smartly played with the idea of Mario's momentum, centering puzzles around flinging, flying, and falling through space in a continually surprising and satisfying adventure for the former plumber. You could write a book on how Super Mario Bros. not only helped save the video game industry, but also paved the way for the 30 years of our medium that followed. It solidified our fearless plumber as an icon synonymous with video games. It offered perfectly tuned challenge while also encouraging exploration and experimentation. And it gave players a sense of ownership via pinpoint inertia that had rarely been seen in games before. There's a reason Super Mario Bros. has been re-released about a hundred times in the past three decades. Simply put, it's one of the foundations of our medium. Super Mario World 2 Yoshi's Island is categorically a work of art. Led by Takashi Tezuka, the team at Nintendo EAD crafted one of the most enduring and expansive platformers of all time. Its hand-drawn art style gave the adventure a bespoke and timeless quality that surpassed what most thought the Super Nintendo was capable of. You'll platform your way through 48 levels, tossing eggs at enemies, hunting for red coins and flowers, uncovering a metric ton of secrets, and protecting Baby Mario from would-be kidnappers in an adventure that puts Yoshi in the spotlight where he belongs. Super Mario Galaxy 2 is pure platforming goodness. Coming quickly on the heels of the original Galaxy, the sequel is not nearly as surprising, but it is much more refined. Focusing on pushing players from one level to the next rather than having them explore for challenges, Galaxy 2 hones in on what made the first game such a breath of fresh air, while incorporating so many ideas from past Mario experiences that, even at its most difficult, is still a joy to play. Super Mario World expanded on the potential of a Mario game to be more than just a level-completing platformer, but that challenge has rarely been as pixel-perfect as it is in Super Mario Bros. 3. While establishing the series' penchant for secrets, Super Mario Bros. 3 also delivered on some truly difficult platforming throughout its eight kingdoms, setting a precedent for Mario Worlds and power-ups in future installments. After all, there are few wardrobe changes better than the Tanuki suit. Much has been made of Super Mario 64's influence on game design and how it nails feel and control in a 3D environment. But what is most notable about the game is how fresh, fun, and playable it still feels today, a full 21 years later, despite being part of an era of games that haven't aged gracefully. 
It takes the concept of multiple stage exits from its 2D predecessors and presents us with perfect little playgrounds filled with tasks and scavenger hunts of carefully escalating difficulty levels. It may not be the single greatest Mario game on our list, but there's no denying that Super Mario 64 is a rare, timeless 3D classic of the highest quality. Super Mario World took everything that was great about Mario on the original Nintendo and multiplied it by at least 100. It built on the framework of Super Mario Bros. 3, expanded the overworld map, introduced more challenges and power-ups, and packed more secrets into a 16-bit cartridge than anyone could have anticipated back in 1990. But Super Mario World's biggest contribution to the future of the franchise is, without a doubt, its emphasis on exploration. Some levels contained multiple paths and exits, which in turn revealed switch palaces, secret levels, and even entire secret worlds, filled with some of the most challenging platforming levels ever created. Moreover, Super Mario World solidified Mario and his goofy cast of friends and enemies as Nintendo mainstays, not just on the NES, but forever. <laughs> That was our list of the best Mario games of all time. Let us know what your list looks like, and if you enjoyed the video, be sure to check out our N64 Classic Wishlist and how to mod your Nintendo Switch and Joy-Con.